U.S. Air Force says it's intercepting more Russian jets near Alaska than ever since Cold War. S. Clinton Hanote, U.S. Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategy, Integration, and Requirements, has complained that Russia has dramatically ramped up the flights of military aircraft near Alaska last year as climate change continues to provide new opportunities for operations in the Arctic region. Pointing to a series of war games his department has been conducting to determine strategic threats and how the U.S. can adopt to those threats, the commander warned that America's position in the Arctic leaves something to be desired at the moment. The commander added that the Pentagon was using wargaming to try to better understand how great power competition in Europe or the Asia-Pacific region could spill over into the Arctic, how our competitors could use the Arctic in a way of doing something strategically bad for the United States and for our allies and partners. As far as Alaska is concerned, the general admitted that in addition to its use as a defensive base of operations, the strategic territory could also be used for offensive operations in Europe and Asia. In essence you could conceivably do power projection sorties out of Alaska to both of those areas, and what we have seen in our war gaming is that it's an incredibly effective place to base air operations out of. This, he said is why the U.S. has been pouring in additional billions in defense dollars to beef up the Pentagon's footprint in Alaska.